So I'm here um, repairing my Discovery 2 um, speaker. And I bought these JVC CS DR620. And I'm about to replace the tweeter because the tweeter is blown. So I need the case so that it'll fit back in the door and the door correctly. So what I did is I took a, a screwdriver and my hammer and I broke I broke out the tweeter from inside of the case and then I bought these NB2 tweeters and I'm going to use them and I'm going to put them back in here and glue it in because all these was do it all these were, were were glued in inside of there so I'm going to glue them back in and then I'm going to have the original Land Rover casing put back right in here and then I'm going to be able to have my um, my tweeters working. So these speakers, they come with these wires. And inside the Land Rover door, there are two wires that um, are joined together. I think in mine is, is um, a blue and black, two of them, and two um, green and black. So what you're going to have to do, um, if you look at the original Land Rover speaker, it has a, a connector on the end of it. What I did is I cut it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I cut the wire that connects to this. And I joined the two green and green together and the two blue and blue together. And I think the green one goes to the bigger part of this wire. So you connect the green one to this big part and then the blue one to the actual smaller part. And um, I actually got that to work because these six inch speakers in the door, they don't work no more. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to repair the, um, the tweeter and I'm going to have some foam and stuff. I'm going to put around it just like how this one is. I'm going to put some foam around it and I'm going to stick it in there and I'm going to see exactly how it comes out. So in a few, I'm going to let you know exactly how everything turned out and how it's sounding and I'm going to play it and let you all know exactly how it sounds. So for now, I'm going to pause this video continue to work and then I'll let you all know how it all uh, turns out over and up. So I bought these tweeters say they could take up to 300 watts max max those are the specs I think that um, I went ahead and um, I just tested the um, the, the tweeter in the, in the truck and everything sounded nice and clean and this is the apparatus that I came up with as you can see, I broke the I broke a little piece off of my um my thing, but you know a little bit of glue is still gonna work. But anyway, I um, was able to get it in there. I squeeze it in, and um, this clip here you can bend or or expand, so you can bend it in or you can open it. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of super glue and put it down in the corner just to tack it. I'm not I don't want it to actually hold too much. Because just in case I need to take out any tweeters and use again, I could just stick a screwdriver or something in there and just crack it and pop it off easy. But as you can see, this thing ain't going nowhere. I could hold it like this. I could jiggle it, whatever. It don't move or nothing. So it's in there. I didn't have to use the, um, the front cover for the tweeter. That's the front cover because it can't fit down inside of there. So what I did is I just used the back and I pushed the tweeter in there. And I forced it in there. So after you get out that part and this part, you can go ahead and um, just put push, push this, the tweeter in there with the back, run the cord through the back. This is the back, and then um, use it. So the tweeter actually comes like that. And this is the back, and then this part would be the front. So you know the tweeter goes inside of here. This is the spring. This is the spring, the tweeter goes inside there, and then you put this over and then you press it down and twist it and that, that's how it normally connects. So I just I just hooked it up in the truck. The gold wire is the positive, silver wire is the negative. In the truck, the green wire is the positive, and the blue and black wire is the negative. Um I don't know what color it might be in another truck, but I'm just talking about mines for now. Anyway, I'm gonna hook this system back up. 
and I'm gonna do the other side. I think the other tweet is no good either. So I'm gonna change that out too. But as you can see, I reused the, the casing for the Land Rover and um, I was able to build my own tweeter. So this is not something that's impossible, you know, and I just hooked it up and it sounds real nice in the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put everything back together and um, then I'll go ahead and um, fix up. Uh, sorry, I'll go ahead and actually turn on the, the system and see how everything sounds coming through. Over and so I decided to show you how I made the, the tweeter work. Um, this is the new tweeter. That's part of the older one. I already put the other one in the other door. So I'm showing you how I did this. So I took the, this piece was in here like that. It was in here like that. And I just took my screwdriver, put it in on it, and I just hit it with a hammer just to get this piece out. Then I used my plier, grabbed it, and just pulled it out like that. So the next thing is, I will take this wrench and put it over it. I wish I had someone else to hold the camera. And then I'll just twist it and that, that part will come out. So I'm gonna see if I could get the camera to be set up in a way where I can, um, I can show you what I'm doing. So let me just put a camera like this. Let's put this here under there. And then I'm going to grab it and hopefully I can twist it while the camera is there. So let's see. See, you twist it and there it goes. So, um, that is what the old tweeter looks like. So, I got it out. And then I guess take out whatever debris that's in there. And then I'm gonna put a new one in there. And that's how you take it out. I mean, you can reuse this casing and keep your Land Rover still looking nice. You know, I'm, I'm assuming you might be able to do the same thing for the front tweeters. So what I do, I'm going to put the camera back again. Let me see if I can situate it. And I do apologize for not having someone to help me with this. But anyway. So, the spring, you don't need it. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull this in here. Now I have the tweeter and the, and the thing and all I'm going to do is put it in here and press it in. Once I press it in, see, it, it fits in perfect. I mean, you can't ask for nothing better than that. And then all you need to do is to take this metal that comes with the kit for the tweeter, you bend it. And you try to line it up with that hole right on the side there. So you try to line it up as best as you can. And once you get it lined up, you're gonna push it all the way down. So that's something that you know you, you can figure out once you're doing it. So me, I pull out everything and then I line it up first and then I just push the tweeter down with the metal. And then there's a screw that, that goes in the top of this that's inside the kit. It's a small, little short. Uh, shunt head screw so you screw that in the back and this whole thing doesn't move out anyway as you can see the tweeter is in there and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this one and then mount it up as you can see I use the JVC 6 inch uh, speakers and um, they sound really nice these are two-way speakers by the way so you got extra tweeter in the speaker over there if you want and you don't want to use a tweeter, you can also do that. But me, you know, I like I like the crisp sound in the back, so it sounds really nice anyway. Anyway, over and out.
So YouTube, I'm back again with my 99 Discovery 2 and I had a problem with it where I just changed out the speakers and when I tried to play the music while the car is running, I will hear this um, pop, 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 sound in the speakers and you know, I, I thought that it was in the wiring. I went check the wiring, disconnected each speaker and that didn't make no difference. And I thought that the speaker itself was bad and what happened also is my catalytic converter started rattling and um, I went ahead and did this service on it. You know, it passed inspection and everything, but um, the catalytic converter is still rattles a little bit now. But um, I tried to put the meat on it, didn't get nothing. So I went ahead and I did the full service, but I didn't change the spark plug wires. So I went on a forum and they said that, um, this is a Ford forum, mind you. And you know this this truck here. I think Ford actually owned this um, this this vehicle before it spun off into Land Rover. So I went ahead and they told me to change the spark plug wires. And I kid you not, um, the spark plug plug wires were changed. And now I can actually run the engine and play the music. So um, this is going to be like the finishing up of the the stereo system and so that i can let you all hear it so this video here is really and truly the end part of the putting in of the um jvc speakers in the two-way i only put two in in the back and um, i kept the original two front ones and you remember i um changed out the the um the tweeters in the door so i'm gonna play the system and let you hear how it sound uh right now so anyway, I changed the spark plug wires and that actually fixed the problem as far as being able to play the music with the um, radio on. So I'm going to start this engine up and um, I'm going to start the engine up and I'm going to play the song. Let me see. Alright, listen. the sound of the the music I'm gonna play another track that I like to hear so you can hear exactly the crispness and the crisp sound of the music let me go ahead and get track number two here listen Longing 
Hi, YouTube. This is MC. Over and out. One love.